Good afternoon, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland, and uh, this uh, video is about how to do well in job interviews. So there'll be a number of points, and they'll be in a somewhat uh, logical order. So we'll start off with the things which are very basic. Um, show up on time and uh, dress appropriately. These are blindingly blatant, but let me expand on them, because you'd be surprised how many people don't get these fundamentals right. It doesn't matter if you're an hour early, but it does matter if you're a minute late. Now, if you turn up ridiculously early, you could always walk or drive around the area and then come in fairly early. So uh, if you can possibly scout out the place some days before so you know your way, you'll feel a lot better. Allow a margin of error when you're traveling to the interview. Um, so, so give yourself more time than you need. That's good for two reasons. First of all, punctuality, but also you won't be worried about making it. And the thing is, obviously, to uh, dress suitably for the interview. Remember, you're making a first impression, and uh, people are foolish to judge by clothes, but they do. And uh, this is also telling them something else about you. Not just the clothes, really, but are you the sort of person who's careful? Um, do you take a pride in things that you do, not just your appearance? Um, can you meet their expectations? Are you making an effort? That's what they're trying to uh, deduce from the way that you dress. And they believe that this is you on your best behaviour, but on an average day at work, you won't be quite so good. Um, uh, so if, if you're not sure, it's far better to overdress than underdress. Smart casual can be difficult to interpret, in which case you might say, do you mind if I wear a suit? Um, let me see. So um, think about questions uh, in advance. What are they likely to ask you? There's some things that might be specific to the sector. There are lots of general questions. Why do you want this position? How do you feel about your current role? Why did you leave your previous role? Um, where do you see yourself in five years' time? What's your greatest strength? What's your greatest weakness? Things like that. What can you bring to the team? Are you a good team player? And these can apply to almost any uh, sort of work. So know the organisation. Look up their website or read any publicity they put out. Be able to quote their own propaganda back to them. They might have certain buzzwords or slogans, and if you can drop those into the interview, uh, that will go down well. You'll show you you'll show the sort of person who's who's done research. Um, anyway, uh, let me see. So things to do right before you even um, get at the interview: apply for a suitable job, one that you're good at, one that you'll enjoy. You're far more likely to succeed at something that gives you gratification as opposed to something you're simply doing for money. Um, so even if you're not good at it and you're not going to derive satisfaction from it, you've at least got to give a convincing impression of these things. Um, so you hopefully are going to come across as genuine nevertheless by being positive without being um, falsely over-enthusiastic. Um, another golden rule is not to worry about it. I remember my first job interview and um, I was petrified. Uh, but there was no reason to be petrified, really. If you get the job, that's fantastic. If you don't get the job, well, then, you know, you're no worse off than before. In fact, you've gained valuable experience. So just treat every interview as a practice. Yes, you're going to try, but you're not going to be fretful. Panic is never helpful. Um, be self-assured. I know it's easy to say that. I'm much more self-confident about, the, about these things, having had lots of job interviews um, through the course of my life. Uh, so when you greet people, uh, they're the very obvious rules to follow, giving a firm handshake, making eye contact, and making eye contact and tact where you're speaking to people, listening to their questions, showing that you're listening, also by, by nodding a little bit. Uh, not necessarily have to say, mm-hmm, oh, oh, right. Some people say these things to show that they're listening, but perhaps overdo it. Uh, not to show any signs of anxiety, which they may um, mistake for dishonesty, such as touching your face, rubbing your nose, rubbing your mouth, biting your nails, fidgeting, rubbing your hair, things like that. Um, so they often say, do you have any questions for us? So have a few intelligent questions. They can't be things that you ought to know already about the organisation, really idiotic or controversial questions. As a general view, avoid being tendentious. They might ask you questions about taking a view on things. So it's all right to have some opinions to back them up. I wouldn't express the most controversial uh, opinion in the world. Fudging is probably not a good idea. I point out these mistakes because I've made most of those mistakes. 
So, um, uh, and uh, there might be some salary negotiation there. So you've got to think what's the minimum you'd accept and then go a bit above that. They're never going to give you more than you ask for. So you might go for market average, slightly below market average. Even if, even if you get a bit less than you hope for, you could still work your way up. So don't sell yourself short. On the other hand, it'd be unwise to price yourself um, out of the market. So you've got to ask yourself, if you were in the position of interviewing people, what would you be looking for? You'd want someone you think was going to do the job effectively, someone uh, who's intelligent, who's hardworking, who's courteous, who'd get along with the others, someone who's willing to stay for the required period of time, and someone you, you feel that you could gel with. So you've got to give these people uh, the notion that you are suitable uh, in these regards. It's all right to uh, confess to a couple of shortcomings. If there's excessive self-laudation, they're unlikely to believe much of what you say. So uh, anyway, if they want you, they'll be on to you pretty soon. OK, there's some jobs I applied for and I haven't heard back for 15 years. So I suppose that's my answer. Uh, if, if, if they don't want you, then they'll contact the candidate they do want, get him or her to firmly agree, and then give you the PFO, the please off letter. So that's how to do well in job interviews. It's all very straightforward. It's all very logical.